NASA estimates a total solar eclipse happens where you live on an average of once every 375 years. As we've been reporting, much of North America is preparing for today's rare eclipse. The path of totality stretches across the U.S. from Oregon to South Carolina. Bill Nye joins us from where he will watch in Beatrice, Nebraska at the Homestead National Monument. He is a scientist, author, and CEO of the Planetary Society. Good morning, and he is waving to all of us. Good yeah. morning. How are you? Fabulous. So I understand it's a beautiful this is, day here. Yeah. Fabulous. I understand this is only the second time that you've seen a total solar eclipse. Uh, yeah, the second time I've really been under it in the path. Yeah, I've, been to, I've seen some partials. Uh, over the years, but it's a very exciting thing, you guys. It's going right across the world's third most populous country with an interstate highway system. People who really want to get in the path of the eclipse can, so it's an, it's an exciting year. And I hope this reminds everybody that uh, the importance of science. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can predict this eclipse within fractions of a second, and that is because of astronomy. That's because of science. Mm -hmm. So, Bill, how do you make the most of it? I've heard anywhere from a minute to 42 seconds to two minutes and 38 seconds. How should we make the most of this? So I, t I just recommend two things to everybody. First of all, if for some reason you don't have official <laughs> size and weight eclipse viewing glasses, uh, you can uh, take a look at the eclipse through a traditional pinhole viewer. And you can make a pinhole viewer from a cereal box. What you do is cut a hole in the top, cut a hole here, put a white piece of paper inside the box, and everybody, when we call it a pinhole viewer, we're not kidding, make the hole in the aluminum foil with a pin mm. or another uh, common object like this. This is a paper, paper clip, paper you clip. may be familiar. <laughs> and then, uh, then the light will pass through the pinhole, and there's a remarkable effect due to the wave nature of light where you get a very sharp image of a bright object. You can try it right now before the eclipse shows up with a lamp in your room or if they're in the television set you have all these fabulous led sources and you can look at the eclipse uh, uh through the pinhole uh onto a white screen and you can see the moon cover the sun then when the moon does cover the sun you can look right at it now you know the myth of the mm -hmm. pirate with the eye patch yeah mm -hmm. that's probably I mean, one a great myth could be that pirates who had primitive navigation instruments every day would have to stare right at the sun for a few minutes to get their position mm -hmm. on the earth's surface mm -hmm. and so by doing that you ruin your eyesight the trouble with an eclipse the sun is still the sun everybody <laughs> the trouble with an eclipse is you just want to stare at it. Yeah. And if you stare at the sun for five or six minutes, it's hard on you. So it's an exciting thing. And the other thing, I just remind everybody, we all want to take pictures. We all want to get our phones out and take a picture. Uh, phones are not really ideal for taking pictures of the sun. Just try to be in the moment. Mm -hmm. Just try to remember mm -hmm. where you were, what was going on when you saw this happen. And then we encourage everybody to look at the ground. Look at the, your surroundings because you, you won't see this most of the time. You, mm -hmm. If things go really well, the, sh the mountains on the moon create what we call these beads of light. They're named after a British astronomer named Bailey, mm -hmm. Bailey's Beads. Bailey's Beads. And uh, th you're seeing actually imperfections in the lunar surface all the way down here on Earth. It's really amazing. Really you know, quickly, Galileo Bill. Galileo took a military telescope and said the moon's not a perfect circle and they put him in prison. I, I'm Go really ahead, curious really if, if, can a blind person feel the eclipse? Is the, does the temperature change that dramatically? Oh yeah, a couple things happen. First of all, it, it gets dark. You can see the sky, you can see stars, and it gets a little bit cool for a few minutes. And then you'll hear birds act like it's, and insects act like it's nighttime, but it's the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. So it's really a striking thing, you guys. It looks like a normal day. But for these few minutes from a, here in Nebraska, from 11:30 to 2:30 or so, well, Bill, I have to say this: I think I think you've given the. We're, I'm concerned about time here, but I think you've given the best advice. Where you said everybody just be in the moment. I think that's the best advice. Be of all. Thank moment. you very much, Bill. And Nye. if you want to make a big Thanks. one, put a pinhole in a box, <laughs> okay. put your head in it, <laughs> and then you're fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> that is quite a moment. Somebody said you could use a Ritz cracker too. I do or have a Colin those days. Lots anyway. of lots yeah. of choices. Thank you, Bill Nye. <laughs>